You know, I, I'm in my 40s, married. I have two kids, but nothing makes me older than when I realize I no longer know the slang terms teenagers are using. And it seems like these days, teen slang terms are evolving so fast that it's impossible to keep up. And since many of you are about to be forced to talk to your teenage cousins on Thanksgiving, we here at Late Night decided to give you a little primer on new teen slang terms in a segment we call Seth Explains Teen Slang Thanksgiving Edition. Our first new teen slang term is yams and marshmallows. Let's see the definition. Two people who should not be together but somehow make it work. Here it is in a sentence. Dan's a human rights lawyer and Julie's a kleptomaniac, but ever since they got together, they can't keep their hands off each other. Those two are yams and marshmallows. <laughs> Up next, we have Mayflower. Let's see the definition. This is a car which you use to escape the persecution of your parents. <laughs> For example, Dad asked me why I haven't picked a major yet, so I grabbed the keys to his 76 Plymouth and took that Mayflower down to the local bar. Moving on, we have Aunt Aoife. Let's see the definition. This is your dad's overly aggressive liberal sister. <laughs> Let's see, in a sense, I agree with Aunt Betty's passionate argument about climate change, but I had to draw the line when that Aunt Aoife went outside and chucked a rock through my dad's car window. <laughs> Next up, it's Gravy Crockett. This is a Thanksgiving host who only serves what he catches and kills himself. For example, we're going to Uncle Gary's cabin again this year, so it looks like we're having Thanksgiving possum, hashtag Gravy Crockett. <laughs> Our next new teen slang term is Blovember. This is when the only way you can get through Thanksgiving is with a ton of cocaine. <laughs> Here it is in a sentence. Cousin Greg hasn't eaten a single bite, and he's left the table 15 times to use the restroom. That boy's having a happy Blovember. <laughs> Moving on, we have Decorative Gourd. This is a creepy guy who is always sitting on your front porch. <laughs> Here it is in a sentence. I would call the cops on that weird dude in the trench coat who's always parked outside my front door, but that Decorative Gourd sort of ties the place together. <laughs> this next one's really blowing up with the teens. It's Trypto Phantom. Let's see the definition. This is when you're visited in your dreams by the ghost of the turkey you ate for dinner. Here it is in a sentence. I've never been vegan, but last night I dreamed that a headless bird waddled up to me and said, gobble, gobble, hell is awful. <laughs> Hashtag Trypto Phantom. <laughs> Moving on. You guys, you guys know the actor Jude Law. Well, he is really big with teens these days. And he's even inspired a brand new slang term. It's Jude Slaw. This is coleslaw that's a little older, but still looks fantastic. <laughs> For example, I'm pretty sure Dad made this for the 4th of July barbecue, but it's looking as fresh and crisp as ever, so let's put that jute slaw out for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Next up, we have Fox News. This is a post-meal nap where one blurts conservative talking points in their sleep. <laughs> Here it is in a sentence. Grandpa dozed off on the couch, but every five minutes he'd mumble, lock her up. Hashtag <laughs> Fox News. Our last new Thanksgiving teen slang term is yam bam, thank you, ma'am. This is when you fill your Thanksgiving plate and then go eat in the TV room alone. <laughs> Here it is in a sentence. Didn't want to deal with all this family drama this year, so I just stacked my plate with 10,000 calories and headed for the basement. Hashtag yam bam, thank you, ma'am. That was Seth Explains Teen Slang.